Hello, everyone. This is Father and Son, Worlds Apart, and we're going to talk about Marvel's new game coming out, uh, Midnight Suns, and hold tight to your seats, and we'll be right back. Hello, everyone. This is Father and Son Worlds Apart. I'm Marcus. And I'm Denny. Uh, welcome to another exciting show. And we're going to talk about Marvel's new game, uh, Midnight Sun. Uh, it looks very good to me. I mean, it, it looks like it's going to be a pretty good game. But before we get into that, uh, letting everybody know Denny's birthday is coming up in november and i have a couple things since he's all the way in germany and i'm in the united states so i got to send my stuff early to get there in time and so he can get through customs and all of that stuff so uh i just want to show danny some stuff that i got him he already saw the first the first item the first item i got him i put some batteries in it this time for you danny oh yeah it didn't have battery. You know, it didn't have batteries. I didn't have batteries in it the last time, but <laughs> that's insane. <laughs> that is insane. The Jedi book. And then you push it again and it pops up. Yeah. Yep. You push it again and it pops up. So this that's is the, the Jedi path this is the vault edition yeah. and i got i've got batteries in it this time but i also got danny something else <laughs> i got him the bounty oh, hunter that is the oh my goodness i got him the bounty hunter book you go to key at the bottom <laughs> And I think you pull this down or up. Let me see. Is it up or down? Which one? Hold on. There you go. Oh, hold on. You don't do it that way. I'm about to break it. You push the sides. <laughs> I'm about to break it, guys. Oh, oh man. And I guess you stick the key in here. That is insane. And the key, it rises. That is just nuts. And they got the book and all of that stuff. And uh, that's the Bounty Hunter, uh, Bubba Fett, Bounty Hunter book. That is so dope. <laughs> the way it opens and everything, that one is so cool. Oh, yeah. Look at that. And you snap the key. Because at first I was like, what the heck is the key? It took me a while to find, to find that key. Because <laughs> I'm like... I know darn well they're supposed to come with a key. Oh, that's going to look so cool back there. <clears throat> and for the Jedi path. And I got the Sith one. That, that's the. That I got is the, the Sith. bad boy right there. And I'm going to figure out. Okay, you open this one at the front here. So cool. <laughs> that is so dope. 
<laughs> that is insane. I told you them things was cool as hell, didn't I? Oh, yeah. That's, that's just out of this world. And you just hit it again. And it closes back up. That's nuts. <laughs> that is so nuts. You know, for the Jedi Path one in the Book of the Sith, you can keep the um, you can keep the actual book, right? Because I got the ones. If you look behind me on my screen, I got the books. So if you uh -huh. want to read those two books, uh huh. No, I just... send you the whole thing because I can just order them myself. I'd rather for you to get the original stuff, original stuff that came with it. Yeah, true. And uh, but happy birthday, Danny! I'm gonna put that in the mail, Thank so you. all three of them is here now, so I can send them out. That's awesome! I'm uh, so excited. Oh, I've been waiting for them things for a long time, and that's some good news on top of a uh, situation <laughs> at the moment. So I'm very, very happy with that. Thank you so much, Dad. I love you so much for that. Yeah, I love you too, son. <laughs> and uh, so. Let's look, let's look at the trailer yeah. on uh, Midnight Sun real quick and tell me what you guys think about it. How long was I in that crypt? I know where the sun rises. No more than a few centuries. Centuries? And what of Lilith? Fallen by your hand. Until now. You were... missed. Whatever caretaker put you through back in the day did a real number on you. We got a lot of work to do. Of course. Caretaker has reformed the Midnight Suns. About time. You're a Midnight Sun now. One of us. Let's go, bub. That looked pretty awesome yeah. to me, man. Yeah, no, that's good. I like the way the trailer's done and everything. The way it looks looks pretty good. Just some this RPG style play is not really. I'm a really big fan of it. I'm looking. They need to make a new Marvel. That's what. That's what I was hoping for. That's what I was excited for. I thought that's what this was going to be a more like a Marvel type game. You know, like the Marvel's Avengers. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. But, so you more into what the uh, first person? Yeah, first person type shooters and stuff like that. Yeah, I always it looks good. It. I'm I'm probably gonna give it. A, I'm gonna give it a go. You know, I, I love my 
love my marble. I'll play it at least. I'll never not. Yeah. So I I don't know, man. Like I said, it's uh I bet it don't look awesome on the PlayStation 5. Mm. Oh yeah. yeah, it's gonna look awesome on that PlayStation 5. Right. So, so got a bit though to the release date, March 2022 is when they got the release date for it. So yeah, they give, they make a, making us wait for a while. Yeah, man, they've been doing that crap <laughs> for a while now. And I guess that's what multiplayer. Yeah. Oh, is it like online? Like uh what everybody you know, something like World of Warcraft or something. Yeah, like that, that. It, yeah, it, basically. yeah. I guess it's their World of Warcraft to an extent. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Cause man, I used to be a huge World of Warcraft. <laughs> I, I started yeah. with EverQuest. I think EverQuest was the first one that I started. Yeah, EverQuest. Ultima Online. I played a little bit. And I'm man, I'm talking about when you was three <laughs> or four years old, I but. Know. You, but uh, huh? You used to be glued to that computer screen. Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, I started with Ultima Online, then moved to EverQuest, and was it one after? Yeah. And then I think we jumped to World of Warcraft after that one. But was man, that I was huge on World of Warcraft, huh? What was that game where you used to be able to ride a dragon, and we had the you had like three D glasses for it and everything. What was that called? I was talking to somebody about that the other day, and he was like, oh, yeah, I remember that. But we couldn't for the life of us think of what the game was called. Oh, man, I remember. I think I remember what you're talking about. Uh, it was like a yeah, a dragon. If anybody in the uh, anybody out there in the uh, this watching know the name of that game, please put it in the <laughs> comments below. Because I know it's called, was it called Dragon Slayer or Dragon Rider or something like that? I can't remember. And it was I like, really yeah, can't. you put on the glasses, 3D for to yeah. see it. it yeah. I used to love it. Well, I used to love when you let me on there and play that. I used <laughs> to love it. It was so cool. That was like 90s. That was, that was, yeah. that was late 90s, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Yeah, You're that's, always. yeah. I remember that, man. I remember those, uh, uh, video games like that all the gadgets and stuff they had you know what the games that they can just do it without the glasses mm -hmm. and all of that stuff but back then they you know they had all the, the little gadgets mm -hmm. going on that's how we got onto the subject we were on like oh now they got these vr glasses and all that stuff and just look how it was now compared to when we were younger i was like hell we, my, my dad had some cool stuff back in the day, and then that's how I got to talking about this game with the dragon. I was like, I'm gonna just remember this game specifically. You you put on these glasses, and like it was the dragon was coming at you. You was flying it. It was crazy. Yeah, yeah. It was like something out of this world. And I was like, yeah, that was already <laughs> that. That was back in the day. So yeah, yeah, you know, they the had they was already going. Yep, they was already going that way with a lot of mm -hmm. that stuff, and. uh now, I mean, they just took it to a whole new level. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, I've, been, I've been on today. Actually, I was on the hunt. I wanted some um, some of those uh, Quest, Oculus Quest glasses because mm -hmm. I bought um, Flight Simulator, um, the Microsoft Flight Simulator, and it is, it is ridiculous. And I was watching some videos on YouTube, and the guys were playing it with the, R, with the VR glasses. So I was been on the hunt, but they're sold out damn near everywhere here in Germany. I can't find them nowhere. I I had to go. I have to go to Frankfurt possibly. Now I might be able to get some, but then I was looking into the HTC ones uh, or not. Not the HP got a pair. The Vive. Uh, oh, you uh, talking about? The, I know H H T. The, uh, HP. No, oh, HP, HP got one. Mm -hmm. Okay. And they were about six hundred and fifty euros. And I'm 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 meant to um I've been running around with doctors and and missed all day so I haven't really had a chance to but I'm I'm gonna check them out later to see um I have to watch a YouTube video and look see if it's if it's possibly better. I don't know, man. The Oculus Quest Two. That's the one you want. The Oculus Quest Two. 
Yeah, that's what everybody's saying. So, but I can't find them anywhere. And I have, I pretty much have everything HP. When you look on my setup, everything on my at home is HP. Anyways, I have the HP Omen laptop. I have the HP Omen chair, uh, monitors, uh, you name it. So, but you don't need none of that with the Oculus Quest Two. It's a standalone system. Yeah, so is the HP one. It, it, it's pretty much the same thing. You have all you do is um, like you you can or you don't or you can't. You have different versions, like I guess sixty four, one hundred twenty eight gigabyte versions. Mm -hmm. But I don't know. I'm really the only thing that I could see myself playing it for is that flight simulator, and I don't really want to spend almost seven hundred euros. That's that's 650 so, euros. Hold on, so, which one come with the flight simulator? The HP. Then I, I bought the sim flight simulator separately. So, well, it don't mean that it, that'll work on there. It oh, has yeah. to be. It, it'll work. Yeah, you can plug the um, you can plug them on uh, into the computer, and then um, you can you can switch in the Microsoft um, flight simulator. You can switch. There's a button at the top to switch to VR mode. And you, it just does it automatically. It's actually pretty easy. So would it? So do it. Uh, so it worked with all the headsets. The um the yeah the flight mm -hmm. simulator. Mm -hmm. So okay, man, yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, and then this America because I got you can't really. Well, I guess you can. I can't. This thing's kind of heavy. I'm trying to watch my shoulder. No, you can't. But you see, like I have, like the uh -huh. thrust pedals. Yeah. <laughs> and I have the, the joysticks like I'm like I'm official like a referee with a whistle when it comes to this flying I got a whole bunch of crap here see yeah yeah so I, <laughs> I takes it serious so that's the only thing I need is that is 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 them VR glasses so I might go to Frankfurt tomorrow and take a look at some uh, take a look at some there um see if they have them up, because the oculus glasses are, are around 550 euros so alone the price is already worth for me getting okay plus they're right. giving me a chance to go check that out because that's is it makes the game or just completely different like you're you're already i'm already in it like i have the subwoofers and everything turned down so when you cut on the thrusters you literally uh -huh. it shakes the whole house damn near <laughs> <sighs> So all I need is the glasses because that's kind of the annoying thing because you got to look down and mess with the um, with the instruments and stuff and adjust certain things because it's a real simulator. It's pretty crazy actually. It takes a while to get used to like to actually lift off and play it because mm -hmm. it's so complicated. But you have to constantly like look down and adjust certain things and on the screen and it's just annoying. When mm -hmm. you don't, when you have to, when you have the joysticks as well, like when you're just doing it with the mouse, then it's fine. But I have two joysticks, as you saw, the thruster and the actual joystick that you have to operate, and so you don't have that option to just look down with the mouse. Mm -hmm. That's kind of a bit of a, a bit of a nuisance. So and with, with the glasses, you can just look down and mm -hmm. oh, adjust yeah. it. And not only that, but the graphics are just out of this world like it's, it's what's it absolute. what's it called what's the flight simulator called microsoft flight simulator 20, oh microsoft yeah, flight 2020 and okay. the graph you have the you have the option to like actually fly around like certain cities like rome or whatever and the graphics is ridiculous i mean it's just out of this world i get lost in it sometimes i just sit here for like two three hours and just fly around because you actually can pick real airports like earlier i played this morning a bit mm -hmm. and i flew from ramstein air force base which is in germany to um to frankfurt international airport which is a real airport as well and you have you have literally every airport in there landmarks and everything so just kind of a way to escape sometimes and with yeah. the glasses it'll make it even just even better because then you're like in the cockpit everywhere you look is is airplane you know because mm -hmm. you know what they have um room scale vr now to where you can play with other people but you got the vr glasses on but you can see other people in the room with you and mm -hmm. they're avatars though but you, so, but you won't run into oh, nobody because yeah. you see them you see their avatar <clears throat> and it, that's the shape of them 
And mm-hmm. the best thing about it, like a box can be like a control center or all, all the stuff in the room can be uh, turned to other things that looks like you're actually in like Star Wars. Oh, and right, then they yeah. have these ships you can jump in, but it's like the norm, you know, the, 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 uh, like the, uh, motion cars and stuff. Mm. But when you get in it, it feels like you're in a spaceship. So you, uh-huh. your team and you're going against another team of people. It's like, uh, 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 laser tag v- in VR though. Right, right. And yeah. you can fly ships and do all of that stuff. And oh, it's room scale. It's the size they can do it the size of a basketball, of size of a basketball court. Really? Yeah. I saw they 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 got I gotta check it out. I gotta look up the link and you can uh oh man. It's expensive to get one. I think they was actually selling it. You can put together for, I think you can do it with 10 people, uh, 10, 20, 30, 40. It's just according how many people, you know, and that's how much it costs to do it. But you kind of need a gym to do the big ones. But, oh, man, it's it's out of this world. Yeah. yeah. I got to look at it. Oh, man, that, looks, that sounds fun. That sounds really fun. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, we have, I mean, they got so much stuff out there now that is, uh, they coming up with some nice stuff. Yeah, and I think, yeah, I think I, it's crazy. Mm-hmm. They, they got some insane stuff. And I mean, just even right, right out of your living room, you can get so much different, so much stuff now. Like you were telling me the treadmill that you used to have, you know. And yeah, the Omni. Yeah, it's insane. Like the things that you can actually do, you can completely disappear off into a completely different world now. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. Like you used to not be able to before. It's insane. It's absolutely insane. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's, uh, oh man, technology is just all of that yeah. stuff going to another, a whole nother level. And yeah. I mean, good, you know, in Germany, I mean, you all got some, pretty good stuff there too i don't know do you have all the stuff that we have here you know all of those do y'all have the laser tag and stuff like that in germany yeah yeah Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay yeah Yeah, you got all that right up the road actually okay laser tag is pretty huge here yeah okay yeah i mean i got you know up the road for me got a, a nice laser tag place and it has laser tag, a theater, and it's called the Edge. And it has laser tag. Uh, it has a um, a racetrack in there, a small racetrack. Oh, really? You can, yeah, a small yeah. racetrack. So you it's can get, you can, yep, yep. <laughs> you can get a go kart. It's all indoors. It's real nice. Have like all sorts of games and um, has a little bump car for the smaller kids and stuff like that. Yeah, and yeah. so yeah you can go there and do all of that stuff man and then you know of course you can go to st louis and they have do, you, do y'all have escape uh escape rooms there mm-hmm. too in germany yeah there's, there's one in Mannheim that all the people from work seem to like to go to it's uh-huh. like a, it's like a when, when they first start working there it's like pretty much almost part of the orientation Probably mm. one of the first things they end up doing is go to the escape room mm. or that. We have a go-kart track um, as well mm. and they have two has an arcade in it and, and all sorts of stuff. So yeah, we got some, we got some, we got some cool stuff here. Yeah. You know, it's been a while, you know, it's been a especially. while since I've been to Germany. So yeah, it's about I spent time. 10 years over there, 10 years. And when I was over there, you know, it didn't have, didn't quite have all this stuff, but, you know, a lot of that stuff just came, pretty much just came out. So yeah, yeah it's got they got a lot of cool stuff here. Okay, yeah, I was thinking about getting a. Uh, I was gonna buy a skate room at one time. I said I'm gonna buy a skate room, open up a skate room. Then I decided, you know what? Heck no, I don't feel like doing all of that. Nah. I'm, getting, I'm getting old and lazy, so I'm like, nah, that's that sounds like work to me. Yeah, I got it constantly. Yeah, because 
this one in here they they change it up every every you know couple of weeks or so it's different stuff so you can actually keep going back there like once a month and there's always something different mm-hmm. so you gotta always gotta keep it uh yeah yeah keep it new get uh uh repeat customers yeah so you gotta I'm not that creative change. yeah <laughs> yeah no nah, yeah. that's too much work for me yeah. and um uh, yeah, I was thinking about doing something like that, but man, I they have the uh, um, what they what they have now. They have the uh, dang, it skipped my mind. I was on bring up, man. I I don't remember. I, I, like I said, you know, you get a certain age, you, things start slipping. <laughs> but but yeah, so. Well, as long as guys, it's not your bowel movements yet. <laughs> <laughs> at least I got control of that right now, man. <laughs> that's so all that least, matters. yeah, that's all that matters, man. I might I might forget a couple of things I was on bring up, but <laughs> at least I can remember at least my bowel movements is in, you know, I'm not having problems with that. <laughs> so <laughs> but yeah, Danny. So I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of waiting on. And yeah, I just want to remind everybody that we are giving away a PlayStation Five. Mm. So please go to the description below to find out about how you can win yourself a free PlayStation Five. Good luck trying to find one on your own. So mm. you can win a free PlayStation Five with Pulse 3D wireless headset. Mm-hmm. And you can also win a hundred dollars, and you can also win a GoPro Hero 9, Nine action camera. So you can win all of those things. So you can win the PlayStation 5 with the headsets. Once we hit 3,000 subscribers, uh, we're gonna pick a winner, but you have to uh go down to the description and enter the giveaway. You can win the uh, GoPro Hero 9 action camera when we hit 1,600 subscribers. Go down to the description below and enter the giveaway. And you can win $100 once we hit 500 subscribers. Again, to the description below and enter the giveaway. That's all you have to do. And... Is different ways you can put more, uh, put put your name in the drawing, you know, multiple times and stuff like that. But it's a couple of things you just need to do. And guys, I'm telling you, it was hard as heck for me to find that PlayStation Five. No thing, nobody got them. Oh, the best buy, they, best buy. They talking about, oh, we'll have them next year. I'm like, <laughs> so I, so you guys know I way overpaid for that darn thing but i got it and i want to give it to my one of my lower subscribers you got to be a subscriber to win so i want to give it to one of my lower subscribers and make sure you guys have a nice christmas that'll be a nice christmas present from father and son worlds apart (laughs) i'm sure it will be yeah because that thing is hard to get and it will continue to be so Yep. Yep. Doing. Yeah. Yeah. Just to just to show you guys real quick. Here go the headset. This is the headset to it. And here go the PlayStation. I keep PlayStation <laughs> 5. This thing is heavy as heck. It is massive. That's why. <laughs> oh my goodness! You guys don't break my arm lifting this thing up. This is the PlayStation <laughs> Five that you will win, and and go down to the description below, and you can put your name in there, and, and there's ways you can add better your chances of winning it. So we, but we need to hit three thousand subscribers. And it's yours. So it's one lucky winner. Mm-hmm. But you have chances to win other prizes as well before then. So 
everybody. It was nice uh, talking to all of you all. And me and Denny going to call it a day. And enjoy the rest of your day. And we'll catch you next episode. Peace.